I went on a family road trip this summer visiting some beautiful national parks. On one of our long days on the road, I heard a quick but clear ding. Low fuel, 30 miles to empty. Thank goodness for the warning. I had just enough time to get to the closest gas station and refill the tank. Phew, that could have been a disaster. Along this same line, wouldn't it be great if a switch on your network could give connected devices a warning before their connection got cut off? It is possible with the Catalyst 1300 switch. It's called Dying Gasp. This feature allows you to track what things are going down and when, along with the ability to troubleshoot systemic issues. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll explain how to configure the Dying Gasp feature on a Catalyst 1300 switch. Next. The Dying Gasp feature on the Cisco Catalyst 1300 sends a final notification or signal to a connected device just before it loses the connection. Once power is restored, you can log into a syslog server to see the logging messages. This is a good way to help figure out the cause of the issue. To configure this feature, navigate to the status and statistics and then the health and power menu. Dying Gasp can be configured via syslog or SNMP. I'll configure it via syslog. Click apply. Now the switch will send the dying gasp information to the syslog server configured in your logging settings. To get to logging settings, navigate to administration, system log, and remote log servers. Here, I have the IP address of a syslog server that is running on my laptop. If I was configuring it via SNMP, I would go down to my SNMP settings and then trap settings. To make sure you've got notifications going out, specify the notification recipients and put in the IP address of your SNMP console. Click the save icon to save this new configuration. To verify that it works, I'll switch over to my TFTP server and unplug my switch. Here, you can see a dying gasp power loss message. It was sent from some charge settings in the system over the network to my SNMP server. There you have it, a useful feature that is simple to configure and can help you avoid problems from a sudden power loss. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.